You're smiling. I'm smiling. You're smiling. I'm smiling. You're smiling. I'm smiling. You're smiling. I'm smiling. You're smiling. I'm excited because I have Brian back. Well, I am Brian Lally from Lola's Acting School, and what we're going to do is we're going to work a little bit on the repetition exercise, the very foundation of the Meisner technique. So, Brian, what's Meisner? Well, Meisner is a technique created by the great teacher Sanford Meisner. And where it came from originally was there was a group of people. There was Cheryl Crawford, there was Harold Clerman, and Lee Strasberg. They went through a performance of the Moscow Art Theater that came to New York in the early part of the 20th century. And they couldn't believe how everybody, everybody in the production, whether they had one line or they were lead, was so truthful and so real. And they, want, they looked into it more and they found out it was the, the method was the child, the brainchild of Stanislavski, uh, Konstantin Stanislavski. And they started researching that and they created the group theater, which changed acting in America and all over the world, changed acting as we know it today, a hundred years ago. And Sanford Meisner was part of that group. And so if you want to learn more about that, I would suggest you get the book A Real Life Drama. It's about the group theater and you can find out all the intricacies. But Sanford Meisner uh, brought his technique out of their work with the group theater and he created what he, he thought most actors' problems were that they were too in their head. They were too busy thinking about themselves. So he came up with a technique that worked for getting you out of that and focusing on the other person. And that's the beginning of it with the uh, repetition exercise. It starts with the repeat. And what that is, the repeat exercise, is you get two actors standing about six feet apart from each other and one actor picks something that's real, tangible, that exists on the other person. Now this is very important because we're not creating dialogue. This happens to be the truth. And Meisner worked with the truth in all his exercises. So you pick out something on the other person that's real and you state it. And the other person repeats exactly what you say. And then you go back and forth with that. You do it at quite a quick pace. Uh, not too fast, but a quick pace where you're not thinking. And with the speed of the repetition, you're not thinking. You're just repeating a line back and forth. And it may seem like a silly little line, but what happens is you go back and forth and then someone may flub the line. But then the person has to repeat it exactly. So you're going fast enough where you're not thinking, but not fast enough where you don't hear. Because it's very important to hear what the person's saying and pick up on a mistake they made. I call that happy accidents because you're not supposed to change the dialogue, but if it happens, you have to change the dialogue. You have to repeat exactly what they said, and it becomes fun. There's a lot of fun that, that comes out of it, but it's very important. But through this, as you go back and forth very fast, you start to lose sense of self. You're only thinking about listening, and what happens with that is it starts to flow, and now you're not thinking about what you're doing. You're not thinking about who you are and how you look to the audience. You now have a freedom. In this simple little exercise, you've now been given the freedom of being out of yourself and just reacting because acting is reacting. And that's what you learn and in I, this very first exercise. And I feel like uh, this helps you not only in acting, but it does help you, uh, you as a, as a TV host, as a presenter, oh, sure. as everything in your life. This is why I keep insisting that I want to share these exercises because even these basic ones are the ones that are going to help you so much. Uh, when I started interviewing uh, people in Peru, mm -hmm. just like for a few months, you, you, you usually like in your head like, oh my God, what am I going to ask them? And then what? And if she says that, instead of like right. really listening, mm -hmm. the best interviews are the ones that are conversations because right. your actual questions are going to come out naturally. Right. So I've learned that the key of it is like really listening. And it comes so simple, like you said, with this repetition exercise. So as you're repeating and it's going fast, you start to hear more than the words you start to hear the subtext of what the person is saying and this changes a feeling inside of yourself. Then you start to act on an impulse, which is an involuntary act. You're not thinking about it, something hits you. Which happens in real life, <clears throat> yeah. right? 
it's kind of like when you're mad and then you're starting like arguing with someone and it's just like and you're this and then that and then you say things that you don't want but they just come out of your gut and right. out of an impulse right. right exactly exactly out of your gut so that's how you start to react and it's very important to understand that you put your point of view in everything you say you do it in life and you do it in acting and it's very important that you come with the organic point of view your opinion we always speak with our opinion because we most uh, most of us have opinions on everything but the thing is society has has us clamped down but in acting and in this technique it frees you up it takes off the muzzle you have and then you are just free to be yourself it's not what you say it's how you say things right 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 in real life yeah it's not what you say it's how you say it and that's that is formed with your opinion by listening to the other person and feeling what they have to say and then you respond to it it's kind of like that kid that tells her mom go do this okay what and it's like okay mom no oh what it's it's that it's opinion he said okay but mm -hmm. it, it, it comes it goes there trust mm -hmm. me little by little but that's the whole point of really like action reaction and how it starts just with one word right and when the mother says what did you say she's not saying what did you say she's saying how did you say that to me exactly yeah or also like how dare like I dare you saying like repeat it <laughs> yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. yeah yeah I dare you to say that again like that so uh, yeah, that is that is the Meisner technique. We'll get into we're that. We're getting into that. We'll it's get into that exciting. because because your emotion when it rises up. But we'll we'll talk about emotion coming up. So now we want to give you an example. Let's give it a try. Okay. This is the beginning repeat. Or I'm going to pick something tangible off of JoJo, and we're going to repeat, and we're going to go pretty fast, and we're going to see what happens. You never know. Why the six feet? Is there a reason for it? Well, yeah, you don't want to be, you don't want to start out uncomfortable. You know, I mean, if you put people up like this, it's going to cause something. What you want to do is be relaxed. Relaxation in acting is everything. Because you want to be relaxed and you don't want to be invading anybody's space because this is just the beginning, just to repeat. That's Especially all we're doing. Especially if you put two people that they just met. For the right. first time, and they're about to do right. this exercise. Right. And different than us that we know each other. So, so well, right. you can put yourself in an uncomfortable situation, but all we're doing right here is repeating and seeing what happens there. So. Okay. Right. You're smiling. I'm smiling. You're smiling. <laughs> I'm smiling. You're smiling. 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 You're smiling. I'm smiling. Yes. Ah, you're smiling. Yes. Ah, you're smiling. Yes, 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 you're smiling. Okay. See, that's that's what happens when you're just repeating a simple phrase, and all of a sudden behavior comes up. And as you said, she made a happy accident. She made a mistake that I had to repeat exactly as she said it. And that's that's the blessing of this exercise. It's just you get to you get to move, and you don't have to think of anything. You get to move forward, and you get to you get to enhance it with your behavior, which only comes out of the moment. It's nothing I created. I didn't say I'm going to laugh here, but but I did see it, and it's it, it, it it's funny. Yeah, it's because I said like ah, uh, well, I said yes, you're smiling. I, that was my accident, but the subtext. The subtext, exactly. So the subtext to that, it was like, oh, I messed it up. It's just, I'm smiling, not, yes, I'm smiling. But you could tell that I, that's what I'm like, oh, right. yes, I'm smiling. But in the beginning, I said, you're smiling, and you paused because you thought, you you said, am I supposed to say, you're smiling? Yeah, you're supposed to say, I'm yes, smiling. Yes, I totally, know. totally, totally. I know. I was and, like, mm -hmm. And then when you do this for a while, you get to read every moment uh, of what happened, and that's what happened. But it wasn't up to me to change the dialogue. 
and say that at this part of the exercise. That will come. But it wasn't up to me to change the dialogue. And it's so fun. The great actor Marlon Brando was working with Bruno Kirby, who was also uh, a great actor, died by too young. But he was working in a movie called The Freshman. And he said when working with Marlon Brando, when someone would flub a line, Brando would come alive because he was listening and he was thinking, you know, okay, what do I say now? And I don't mean, I don't mean going into his head. I mean, what's going to happen in the moment now? Because he'd been listening to lines which bore him. And someone made a mistake and his eyes would open up to go with the mistake. So that is basically, this is the beginning, the very beginning of what we do. 20 years it takes to be an actor, and this is the very beginning. And that's not to say that people don't do great work on their journey. But Sanford Meisner said it takes 20 years, and I believe him. You never, you never end, right? I feel like no. Uh, the things that I know now, or now that I just went back to Peru and I did a bunch of interviews, that I feel like all of them were very like truthful, like fresh, and that's what I got like the reviews from my from my followers. I'm like, yes, thanks to Meisner, thanks to Meisner, mm -hmm. because I'm like actually listening, reacting, live in the moment, mm -hmm. move into the like the next moment and we'll talk about all of that. But yes, this does help not only in acting, but on everything. And even Meisner mm -hmm. said that even when it's a monologue, what happens with monologues? Yes, but you're talking to somebody. So right. Like if you're like in a monologue, if you're remembering your mother, talking to God or a memory, you're still talking to somebody. Well, that, that's why, that's why uh, Meisner called it a speech instead of a monologue because a monologue is mono singular but in a speech is you're always talking to somebody you're always talking to somebody even in Shakespeare you're talking to somebody to be or not to be you're talking to somebody so let's do one more yes yeah okay <laughs> you start okay. Um, okay Lola shirt Lola shirt Lola shirt Lola shirt. 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 Okay, I'm gonna stop it because I'm gonna ask you if you saw why I laughed so much because about the third time repeated. She looked up to the sky like she was a, a Greek statue, like a Greek goddess. She looked up and said, Lola shirt. <laughs> Do you understand what we're doing? And, and you don't get to change the words. You just get to recognize what's going on. Or, or how I saw it, that was my point of view. That was my point of view on what I saw from her. And then she was thinking about, then she was saying to herself, Lola shirt. Am I saying that correctly? Lola yes, shirt? Yes, yes. Because I, I, I caught myself saying Lola shirt. Like, like shirt, right. I'm sure. No, right. it's shirt. Right. <laughs> like, I'm trying right. to correct my English. But that, watching that and seeing in her eyes, gave me uh, a point of view. Gave me something, you know, to laugh about. And that's only in what's happening with the person. Body language. With this simple little line. What? Body language. Body language. Body language, expression, but what you're reading off. And that's all it is. You don't get to change the words. But acting is not the, about the words. It's about the behavior. And that's what was coming up, behavior. So. The best way to get uh, good at this is like really like practicing. You oh, can yeah. watch one video, yeah. you can read all the books, you can go to class once. But one of the things that got me good at even, let's say, let's talk about this particular ex exercise is practicing the whole week. Uh, we would practice for hours. So then when you get on stage again like on your class or you do it again you're like you're better at it so mm -hmm. practice practice at home we just gave you the first Meisner exercise I hope you guys enjoyed I'm gonna be leaving Brian's information in the description box so don't forget to subscribe turn on the notification button leave some comments below and until next time